Hey guys, this is Wes with Unlock River, and today we'll be doing a side-by-side -side comparison of Apple's two newest phones, the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus. The iPhone 6 and 6 Plus are pretty evenly matched, but we'll take a closer look and see which one is right for you. First things first, let's take a look at the specs for the iPhone 6. It features a 4.7 inch display with a resolution of 1334 by 750, a dual core A8 processor coming in at 1.47 gigahertz, one gigabyte of RAM and an 1810 milliamp hour battery. The battery life on the iPhone 6 is average and it does not feature landscape rotation on the home screen, but it is conveniently sized and portable, slightly faster than the iPhone 6 Plus, and it feels very natural when using it with one hand. Next up, let's take a look at the iPhone 6 Plus. It features the exact same specifications as the iPhone 6 Plus a larger 5.5 inch display. This phone offers the highest pixel density of any iPhone so far. The Plus adds optical image stabilization and most notably it carries a 2915 milliamp hour battery so you will definitely see a notable difference there. The iPhone 6 has an excellent display, an amazing battery life, and the camera with optical image stabilization are great selling points but it is one of the most expensive smartphones on the market and as we'll take a closer look at in a moment, it is not the best phone for people who have smaller hands. But if your pocket and wallet can handle it, the iPhone 6 Plus is certainly worthy of consideration though. Let's take a quick look at the design of both phones because it has been completely revamped. Apple has relocated the lock button to the side of the device, making it easier to access since the phone is much larger in size. The volume buttons and mute switch are on the other side. The microphone slash speaker, the lightning port and headphone jack are still located on the bottom. The 4.7 inch iPhone 6 is just 6.9 millimeters thick and that makes it 10% slimmer than the 7.6 millimeter iPhone 5S. The 5.5 inch iPhone 6 Plus has a thickness of 7.1 millimeters. They also feature the sleek curve around the edges and it gives it a seamless look. The phones are pretty equal when it comes to camera though the optical image stabilization is only available in the 6 Plus. Both feature slow-mo video shot at 120 or 240 frames per second. Time lapse is an awesome feature letting you condense long periods of continuous capture into short clips. The iPhone 6 and 6 Plus shoot everything in 1080p HD in either 30 or 60 frames per second. This is a very capable camera and one of the best you will find on any smartphone on the market. Again, the iPhone 6 comes in at only 6.9 millimeters and a weight of 129 grams, while the iPhone 6 Plus has a thickness of 7.1 millimeters and a weight of 172 grams. Looking at these two phones side by side, there is a noticeable difference. One of the great things about the iPhone 6 is usability. You can easily operate this smartphone with one hand, much more so than the Plus. All the apps are easily accessible, as well as the buttons on the side of the phone. The iPhone 6 Plus is a little lacking in this department. Many users find it difficult to navigate the various apps and features simply holding it with one hand. But Apple thought of that, and they added a really cool feature to work around this problem. By tapping the home button three times, you enter into reachability mode, which drops everything down to a more manageable level and enables you to access apps closer to the top of the screen. This also works when texting, and for many people, it makes the discomfort of the screen size pretty much obsolete. Another tweak that Apple has made, which is exclusive to the Plus, is landscape mode. When using the Mail and Messages app, it gives you a view like an iPad would, with a list of messages on the left and their content on the right. The only caveat here is that many app developers have not updated their programming to support this new feature, but I would imagine for many this is already in the works. Bigger phones have their own niche that appeals to certain users, and as you would imagine, the 6 Plus will certainly be the choice for gamers, as the bigger display will give you a much better gaming experience. But for many users, bigger is not always better. If you're like most people, you've probably got your keys, some chapstick, mints, or who knows what else tucked away in your hip pockets, and the iPhone 6 Plus can really be bulky if that's where you choose to carry your phone. Unless you're wearing cargo pants, you're probably going to want the iPhone 6 Plus in a back pocket when you're out on the town. Let's go over one last thing before we get out of here. We mentioned the processors earlier, but is there really any difference between the two models? Not much, as you'll see here. 
Inside both phones is the new dual-core A8 processor as well as the M8 coprocessor which offloads certain tasks from the 8A chip making it even more efficient. Let's use Geekbench 3 to measure processor performance. You'll see that the single core of the 6 is 1637 with a multi-core score of 2942. The 6 Plus single core registered only slightly slower at 1627 while its multi-core was 2921. Very comparable performance between these two iPhones. So we've given you all the information, now it's up for you to decide which iPhone is right for you. Let us know which one you prefer in the comments section. Thanks for taking the time to watch and if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and while you're at it, give this video a thumbs up. Have a good one.